we got another guy uh, on the line. We got Born calling in. Born, you good? What's up, man? Yeah. Yo. Yo, this is Born. Oh, shit. Who this? It's Hoffa, nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> nigga, I thought you was born. I ain't even checked the line right. My bad. Yo, come on, man. My first time on the <laughs> show, you would call me newborn, man. Come on, dog. <laughs> that ain't right, man. <laughs> man, you just called in. You caught me off guard, bro. It's all good. Damn, it's all, my I, bad. I catch a lot of people off guard. That seemed to be my thing. <laughs> Yo, we <laughs> We got Mal Hoffa on the line right now. Caught me totally by surprise. The nigga dosed me on radio. So, you know what I'm saying? What What's good, man? You got these events coming up. Bowler. Yeah, you know, I got, you got, I got a little mini tour. Yeah, Bowler. We got the Bowler joint coming up. We got the RBE with O-Red. You know, if you're going to pay for that Don DeMarco, you got for all um, some of in the streets saying my name. I don't believe people should get Don DeMarco just for saying my name. They gotta, they gotta work for it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, yeah, he did that, call you out. Yeah, exactly. And um, I got the the manslaughter joint coming up. Um, and I got L.A. Battlegrounds. You know, I'm gonna give Danny Myers a shot. You know, see what he oh, can do. You know, he bring his Donatello right. skills to the stage. You know, see how it worked out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. I gotta so I gotta talk to you about uh a couple of these events, right? So uh first I'm gonna talk about the Rare Breed event. You know, I you know, I had ARP, ARP a good fan, I mean a good uh homie, like you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be coming down and host the event with you guys. Uh, nice. So yeah, so he um me and him was talking and I know like I was telling him when he came on the show, like I know he set your battle up before the King of the Dot battle. So then yeah. when the King, King of the Dot battle got set, I know, like, from, and he came on the show and he explained everything from the whole explanation of everything. It seemed like you guys, like, he really, like, it was it was kind of rough at first, but it, kind of, it seems like he respected the fact that you wanted, you came to him, you know, as a professional and wanted to go out there and kill D. I'm not a backstabber, my nigga. I'm not a backstabber. I don't know if I got an agreement with a nigga, <clears throat> especially a dude that I respect, you know what I'm saying? Like ARP, definitely, you know, he's, he's a band of respect. So, right. you know, I came to him. I let him know what the situation was. At first, I was telling King of the Dot no. You know what I mean? You know, they came right. up with something that I didn't want to turn away from. Diz just kept talking so much shit, and I feel like, I feel like at one point he knew that I was already scheduled to do my comeback battle with RBE, so he was just talking even more shit. Mm-hmm. So just to shut him up, you know, I called ARP and I was like, "Look, man, this is the situation. You know, I don't. I think it being on the West Coast, it, it, it's not going to affect you know the situation out here. But I know I was scheduled to do my comeback with Jaws. So what up? I'm, I'm gonna leave it in your hands." And he was like, you know what, my nigga, yo, go, go get your money. I'll be out there with you. So, Word. mad love to ARP, man. I'll fuck with him. Heavy. Uh, Word. So, I, I this, I got another question for you, too. So, I got a I know question. Hold on, I got a question. I know this is battle, you know, this, 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 this is solely about battle rap and all that. Why does everybody new sound the same? <laughs> Yeah. Did somebody answer what. that question? If you listening on the line right now, you you know what I mean, you tuned in, you locked in, call call up and explain why everybody sounds the same now. Why when I watch a battle it, it feels like one person is writing for, for, for both the niggas. Man. What's up with that? That's that's a good ass question. 'Cause uh I mean don't don't people like what what do you qualify as the same? Like give me an example. Like, give me two battle rappers that you think sound the same. Um, let's see. I saw. You just run down the list, like, you know, I'm not to throw shots. It, it, and you know, I know there's a lot of motherfuckers out there that that that's gonna feel the way about it. But yo, pay attention to yourself. KG the Pope. You look hmm. at him, and you look at. Who did, who did he battle on King of the Dot? 
he battled Danny Meyer. Danny Myers. Again, are these niggas not saying the same shit the same way? <laughs> I saw Rum Nitty for the first time. I was like, yo, I like this kid, but I watched his battle with um, B Magic. This is no hate, but all these niggas sound the same. Yeah. Cause like, I mean, what's going they, on? they didn't they didn't grow up they didn't battle rap in the era that y'all battle rap. I mean, you know, you got to go what they see is hot. See, so my you're saying opinion. that's what they're doing. They're watching other niggas and they're just doing the same thing. I mean, because you know when we was coming up, you know, that wasn't that long ago, but. You know, niggas yeah. wanted their own style. Everybody wanted their own style. It was, it was. That's what made you pop, and that's what made you stand out. Right. Nowadays, I don't know. It's like everybody's using the same type of schemes, the same wordplay, and bringing back their bars, saying the same. Like it's the same shit, though. And I think that's what's hurting, you know, the new generation the most, as far as like being a breakthrough talent. You know what I mean? Like touching the main stage. There's some dudes right. that came around and, you know, because they had their own shit, they rose up faster than other niggas. Like, you look at a dude like Ill Will. I'm not going to say he just, he don't really got, like, completely his own shit. Niggas see that Ill Will kind of has my vibe, and I think that's why they want us to battle so much because, you know, it's a reminder. Like, he, he, he has that type of aura that comes from right. me. You know what I'm saying? But as far as how right. he raps, he don't really rap like the rest of the niggas. Right. But, you know what I mean, I mean when, when you look at the culture, right, like, for one, I mean, I think it's, it's like, it, it kind of goes hand in hand. Like, when you look at the culture, like, Smack DVD all the way to, you got King of the Dot, the originator. Now, you got all these other battle leagues just popping up out of nowhere, pretty much doing the same shit that they see everybody else doing. So then you got a battle rapper, like, oh, let me see, like, Danny Myers, that's that, mm-hmm. or B Magic rather, that punches back to back to back to back. And yeah. then you got <laughs> some people that look at that shit and they like, yo, you know what I'm saying? All I gotta do is just put words together, boom, back to back to back, punch, 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 and I could say fifty thousand words in, in you know three minutes. At least some of it's gonna connect. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's not but, like I don't know. It's not like y'all. I, I just think that don't make you a star, man. That does yeah. not make you a star. You feel right. me? Yeah. Everybody sounding like newborn does not make you a star. It's not the newborn, though, but <laughs> yeah. it's yeah, not but working that's... out. Like, look around, man. They, it, it's Let's see. This is what battle rap is, you know, since the birth of the URL. It's like, what, five, five years now? Yeah. Pretty it's much. about that, right? Right. Who, how is it that nobody else has come up to the point where they're headlining now? Doing the same dudes from the beginning. But that's, see, that goes back to what I was saying earlier. Like, let's say, all right, let's say you and Mook get it. You and Mook are, about, are going to battle. Any mm-hmm. league. Like, unless you got somebody else crazy, like Lux versus, I don't know, some Hollow Part 2 or some shit like that, like, you, there, you're going to be the main card because you, mm-hmm. you got well, no, no offense like, to Lux or Hollow, but I think if me yeah. and Mook did touch that stage, that nah, would be the biggest rep. That would be the biggest right. event. As far as those right. that follow battle rap history, that would mean mm-hmm. a lot to the culture, a whole lot to mm-hmm. the culture. But, I, that, and, yeah, that's, no, I was just getting an example. Like, it has to be something, like, really ridiculous for it. you guys not to be the main car, main the main event. So when you got, let's see, like you said, you got 50 niggas sounding like newborn. Like, you can't put newborn, like, newborn versus newborn as the main main event. Like, like it's, it could work out or it couldn't work out, depending on who you got writing the shit. So we're not gonna see punch to punch to punch to punch like in your guys about we're gonna you, be. More you know you're not helping fans. these niggas out right now, right? <laughs> but some, you know you're some, not helping them out right now, right? <laughs> but yo, this, like this is what I'm saying. 
I'm not talking about, let's say, like Danny Myers. I'm not talking about Danny Myers because I think Danny Myers is dope. He had Danny Myers style. It might be punch heavy, but it's unique too. You know what I mean? Like, he don't stick to the same script. But, like, i tell you one thing that's dead for me, and I, I'll be honest. Like, I think it's Sway's fault, shout out to Sway, that it's dead to me. Like, the whole, you know, let me rewind that or – Slow it down and all that, like, that shit, like, I hate hearing that shit in Battle Rap now because of, cause it's yeah, like, I, I, I don't I agree with it. you. I agree with you. But, again, you look at even with Danny Myers, even with everybody, that, aren't they doing the same things? Right. They're doing the same things, dog. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, got, I got love for the new generation. I want to see them be different. I, I just want, I want to challenge everybody to be different. Right. Be different different. Say something different. Don't say something that your opponent could have said. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. All the personals, all the personals and all that, they, they're pretty much gone in the new mm-hmm. generation because they think that it's, it's all about bars. But right. when everybody's just saying the same shit, like, y'all, y'all not helping each other. They're not helping each other. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. But, okay, well, let me ask you a question, all right? Now, mm-hmm. I actually, uh, like, I, like I told ARP, I actually watched his videos, and one of the videos that he came out with, he was talking about how, like, new niggas sometimes take shots at people just to start off, like, start some some type of mm-hmm. beef or something like that so they can build up a rep. And then a league owner would see that and be like, yo, Hoff, I saw – um." fucking newborn say you a piece of shit like y'all want to battle on here I'm going to pay you this and this do you when you see that like do you get how how like weekly how many times do you do battle rappers that you know of take shots at you I mean I don't get too many shots I get the shout outs everybody's mm-hmm. got a math half a ball like I don't care who you are everybody's got a math half a ball like that's just right. like part of this whole thing. But as far as the shots, when some somebody takes a shot, if I feel like it's worthy or it's worth my time, then I go for it. You know what I mean? I'm like, all right, cool. You take the shot, so all right, then let's see what it's at. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. as far as like being like like enthusiastic about it, like there's not many people, you know, you get enthusiastic about. It. I get I get hype over like a disaster or old red because I feel like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah we're going to clash. We're going to do what we do. We're going to talk about shit that regular niggas ain't going to talk about. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When it's somebody right. new, it's like, I don't know. I don't get that thrill. When you're watching somebody's battles in preparation to your shit, mm-hmm. if they're boring or, or you don't like them or you don't respect them lyrically, it's not going it's not gonna encourage you to, 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 to like, do your, do your thing. You know what I mean? Right. So I think the top tiers, they kind of shy away from it because, you know, people think that, you know, it's us or all, we, you know, we, we hating on the PGs. It, it, it's not even that. It's not, it's not even the PGs. It's just the new generation. Yeah, I just got a different way of rapping, but everybody's doing it. And we don't like it. Do something new. Mm-hmm. Be creative. That's it. Okay. Now, I got a comment on an interview that I saw you do, too, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, I, like, as a, 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 a radio owner and as a journalist, like, I have to, I do my research. So I saw the video that you did with Original about the, uh, about the, you called the PG's Mexican. <laughs> no, no offense to actual yeah, Mexican. no offense. Okay. <laughs> so no offense, but you, uh, I meant in terms of you know they get exploited, right? And they know that, they, and for for a certain certain to a certain extent, they know they're getting exploited, and they letting it happen. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And when I did right. that, dude, what I was trying to say, and I was trying to stand up for people, you know what I mean? And there was people who felt like, you know, don't 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 worry about us, worry about yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I was like, damn, it's like that? For right. real? It's crazy. But then I'll be at the, 
the battle events or or I'll be politicking with other battle rappers and they'll be complaining about what's going on but they don't got the balls to say something. Right. See I spoke up, I said what I said and organic, you know, he kinda responded to it or whatever, blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. You know, we had our back and forth, we had a conversation mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. at the end of that conversation, the result of it was me getting what I wanted to battle disaster. Word. But, really? but it's different for you because, I mean, honestly, you put your work in. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, y'all was battling back in the time where, like, niggas would be outside battling or be in front of the store or some shit, and y'all wouldn't even get bread for it. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like, you know, like, we can't sit up, no, no matter who likes or dislikes you, at the end of the day, like, you put in the time to, or you put in the time in battle rap to get paid what you what you deserve. Yeah, you know I mean, what I mean? I mean, I'm an OG. I'm an OG, right. but I got to speak up for myself also. There's other battle rappers who've been around just as long as me that's going right. through that. You know what I mean? And I feel mm-hmm. like with the change, you got to tell the young niggas, look, look, it's like it's like it's like you see a young nigga on the block. You just got to school him. Like, look, my nigga, my nigga, this is how this shit works, my nigga. You generate mm-hmm. attention. You the fucking show. So this is what you mm-hmm. do. All you niggas stop accepting a certain amount of treat this this type of treatment, and mm-hmm. should it get better for you? Because motherfuckers want to see you now. You mm-hmm. hot now. These PG right. niggas. I keep saying PG. And PG is mm-hmm. like a reference to URO. It's not just URO. All these new dudes, there's dudes out there that's hot. They getting the response. They 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 getting that response from people, even mm-hmm. though they all kind of doing the same shit. But they're getting the response. Yeah. They're building a the fan base. Okay. So just stand stand up and be about your business. If okay. You feel like you know you you going to do this event over here is going to put you in a in a category where you can't get paid for a while. Don't do it. Right. Build your own shit up. Stay at the league right. where you was at and keep killing motherfuckers. Make them bring people mm-hmm. to you. Get hot in your area. I just think there's too mm-hmm. much, like, mad love to the battle leagues, but there's too much battle league dick sucking. You feel what I'm right. saying? Yeah. There's just too much of that. Motherfuckers need to so, understand, yo, you're the show. You contribute to this shit, too. So, okay. Well, all right. Let, let's let's piggyback off what you just said to to like the rare breed event, right? Well, now let's not even go that far. Let's talk about because I was just talking to Bunny about this. Um, what do you like? What was your opinion of DNA versus Fred's Mafia? I think um, I think DNA. Definitely took that. You know what I mean? Okay. I think um, Prez, you know, Prez, Prez is cool. Prez is cool. But, mm-hmm. you know, again, it's it's, it's kind of that, that, that same type of style. He's a little right. different, you know, with the voice and all that and the woo side, but it's still the mm-hmm. same type of bars coming at him off of. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think DNA just showed him, like, yo, you need more than that. Right. And, you know, for that being being his shot, it seemed like, you know, he wasn't really fully prepared for this shit, so that was my mm-hmm. take. Or, I know. But I don't I know it's they not like it. I'll be in the background ruling like, yo, kill this young nigga. Kill these young niggas, man. <laughs> Bro, these little niggas got to die. Nah, I don't, be, I don't be doing shit like that. I want to see, you know, I want to see motherfuckers do something to excite me, you know what I mean? And right. a lot of shit just don't be exciting me. That's why I feel like a battle like me versus disaster that's important to the culture because you don't get these personal moments anymore. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. There's a lot of a lot of cool shit, a lot of, you know, dick sucking in between rounds, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers say, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I blow your mom's through the window. Ooh, that was hot, that was hot. Mm, mm, let me get a pound for that. Like, fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> I think that's what the oh. battle, battle fat rap fans, they miss that tension. They miss that, you know, feeling like it's a battle. That's kind of how it started. Nowadays, it's like 
yo, I'm going to say some real confusing shit, and if you are able to get it, just the fact that you understood what the fuck I was saying, just cheer for me. And if you don't get it and it sounds like something you were supposed to get, just go, mm, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Then ask, yeah. watch these battles, bro. Everybody's not getting that shit. Everybody's okay. not getting it. They're just going, mm, because it's like a new language where, okay, you get it. When I break up a word like this, that means I have a punch. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> so, okay. I'm just saying, all these niggas, they got the same dance, climb the ladder, <laughs> get down low, <laughs> the stutter steps. The, you know, the, the, the walking with my jeans around my ankles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, these things all got the same moves. Like, it's just crazy. It's crazy, you know. It's crazy. Just do something different, man. Do something different. That's it. I saw a lot of them niggas. But I feel like, yeah, me disaster, that's important. Me over red, that's important. I feel like even yeah. me versus Danny Myers is important. So you can see, like, the difference. You know what I mean? Like, situations yeah, it, like it, danger zone versus goods. You see the difference. Right. And, and that's that's what a lot of people have been talking about with the possible exception of Adi Boom versus Averb. Like, um, I saw somebody post on Twitter. I forgot who it was. I don't know if it was Angry Fan. Shout out to Angry Fan. Um, but he was like, uh, I mean, they were like out of all the new breeds, like they own two, you know what I'm saying, against the vets. And mm-hmm. do you feel like at any point that's gonna change? Like do you feel as if the new breed do you is it anybody in the new breed, quote unquote PG, that has a chance against like a top tier battle rapper? From what you've seen, from what I've seen, it has a it has a chance. Okay. Um. Let me see. Who have I seen in the new breed that I feel like? Um. I don't know, bro. Niggas gonna have to keep banging. They gonna have to keep banging. There's a couple dudes that I I, I liked in the beginning, but they they seem to like kind of slack off on their craft, so. I'm not even right. gonna give any missions, but I think my boys just need to keep bank. Okay. That's it. So there's a lot of like going back to the disaster thing, it's a lot of personal shit between y'all and it's been even said that yo, like I know I saw an interview with Day like he was like, Yo, they should just fight, which I we're not uh promoting because I don't think that's yeah, the way to go he anyway. Talking shit. He was yeah. talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, 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 yeah. That's like me saying, I don't want to see Daylight rap. I want to see Daylight dressed <laughs> up in a skirt. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what he hasn't done yet. Dress up in a skirt, nigga. They're like, this, <laughs> it's time. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> so he's just talking shit. I'll pay no mind to that. I know, I know what that's about. You want the undercard. I get it. You know what I mean? Right. It is what it is. <laughs> So, with <laughs> when it comes to you and disaster, right? With disaster, how how serious of a battle this is, is this for you? Because disaster, like, no offense to disaster, but I know disaster like to talk a lot of shit online. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of shit that he posts, and you know what I'm saying. Disaster get real, he get real aggressive online. So, mm-hmm. how focused are you for this battle against disaster? 100%. 100 mm-hmm. Because I feel like this is this is going to be a big moment. Not just for the fans, not just for battle rap, but for me myself. Like this is going to be a big moment. This is a defining moment on on where I'm going with this shit. You mm-hmm. know me? Yeah. And being that the that tension has been missing, this is gonna be this is gonna prove whether okay this belongs in battle rap or not. Now right. as far as performance wise and how real it is, you don't know until you get there. 
You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, right. sometimes this shit takes over in your mm-hmm. head. Like it, and disaster is one of those dudes where the battle might take over. You feel me? I'm one yeah. of those dudes. The battle might take over. Like, when I when I battled John John, um, you know, a couple people, you know, said some things about me, you know, running up on him and bumping him and shit like that. But before that, I didn't really have no problems with John John. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, we said what we said. I seen him in the spot. I said, yo, you still want to do that? You still want to go outside or whatever? Uh-uh. He's like, yo, I'm gonna, what's, it, what's it even about? Uh-uh. Everything was good, but when you get on stage, it's like, you are not going to smoke me, nigga. You are <laughs> not going to, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's yeah. you just get involved in that. So you don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I got these bars for disaster, but I don't know what's going to happen. Right. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I, and I, I feel that, you. That's that tension. That's that, mm, some real shit. So does you know that mean? make you I mean, perform think, better? Oh, yeah, if you feel it, you feel and you believe what you're saying, it's much different. It's much different. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So It's just not, to say, it's just, it's not going to be one of those battles where you just, hmm, I think I get it. Hmm, oh, you broke the <laughs> word up. Hmm, it's not going to be one of those. It's not. Well, well you know, like, do you, could you see, a, I mean, you... I can't really say. I, I guess this is an unfair question for you because you've been doing it so long. You just you don't have to pay attention to other people's stuff. But do you get caught up in like you being a battle rapper, you being a performer, and you know what it takes to win, and you and your style, your own particular style, you've done that for so long. Do you get caught up in looking at the new guys and just like, man, they're doing the same shit and the, the, what's fucked up about it. The crowd loves this shit or whatever, but they don't even hear shit because of of the the whole breakdown, like I see you in the windows, shoot you in the <laughs> windows shit. <laughs> so do, do you ever get t- tempted to do some shit like that just to see how the crowd responds? To you, I mean the, the word flips. We've been doing that. I don't think I'm right. ever gonna rewind it. It's like, okay, right. you didn't get it. You didn't get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. you, you want to, I mean, motherfuckers getting credit for explaining their bars, and I thought that wasn't something that you were supposed to do in the state. <laughs> right. So, but that was a, that, that was I something I was gonna ask you too. Like, why? Yeah. Why do like that's that annoys the fuck out of me too. Like, I hate. When I'm watching a battle, and they're like, uh, a, I see you in the window, shoot you in the window. Oh, you ain't get it? You'll catch it on the footage. Like, does that bother you too? <laughs> I mean, catch it on the footage, that's one thing. That's one thing. I've yeah. said that shit before. But when they right. when they be like, okay, I see you in the window, you don't get it. Pain, window. <laughs> and then the crowd goes crazy like, oh, he did say all those words. Wow. <laughs> nah, dog. Like, that shit doesn't hit me. Like, it, it doesn't have an effect on me. Because, for one, I'm annoyed because it's Cortez's style that everybody's running okay. with. And then, right. and then it's, it's like, okay, if you didn't get it the first time, and then he breaks it down to you, like, do you remember how he used, like, you know, it's just weird. It's like, yeah. you chance for that? Really? Okay. All right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's crazy. Like it's definitely like I like I see it. And I'm just like like for me if I don't get it, like I, I don't like watching battles with like Danger Zone. Is, like no offense to Danger Zone, but he's one of the hardest niggas for me to follow when he battle rapping sometimes. Cause mm. like the the way he puts like I have to watch him like a couple times and then I'm like oh okay all right, yeah I get that. But, yeah, but does that make it hot? But see, I mean, That's after the the, does that make it yeah, hot? After the fourth time, it's like no, because it's like I'm <laughs> I'm watching it so many. <laughs> no, I'm just being real. I, I done watched it so many times. I'm just like, oh, I gotta pay attention to this shit. Right, let me hear why the crowd went crazy. And then when I hear it, I'm just like, 
oh, shit, that's why they went crazy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's no offense to Danger Zone because people get it. But I'm more like, like, I like, like, for instance, like Big K. I like Big K. He's straight to the point type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand that. Hollow, like, I like his shit. The UPS line that he did against Lux, that was one of, like, I was like, damn, that shit was stupid. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, even, even like, the like I'll tell you one, one battle that I watch a lot that a lot of people probably don't, like, say much about. I, one of my favorite battles that I watched last year was, and this ain't all no dick ride shit. It was just one of my favorite battles was the was the rematch rematch between you and Dose. I think that was last year. Yeah. And I liked it. Like I like that first round. Like I liked the fact that I'm hearing Dose talking that real shit. And then mm. the the joking shit that you did. Like what is Dose gonna do that make me dose him today? <laughs> like that shit was mad funny to me. So. I like shit like that. I don't like the complicated scheme shit that that a lot of these dudes do. So that's why I'm saying, like, if if you have, like, let's say you was to battle somebody and you see that come out, like, you, let's say you, for instance, battle Danger Zone. First of all, do you think that would be a good matchup, you versus Danger Zone? A good, a good match between me versus Danger Zone? No, I said, do you feel like that would be a matchup between you and Danger Zone? Nah, I don't. <laughs> right. I don't. It's, 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 it's a different stat sheet. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Danger Zone, I think, um, you know, the first battle I saw him versus Cash Eaton, I was mm-hmm. like, whoa, he got some shit. Right. I think he just started hanging around too many nerds. And his, and his shit just got him twisted, or he's doing too much text battling or something. You know what I mean? Right. And, okay. and it made him completely forget about stage presence. Right. You know what I mean? There's some yeah. things you do in a battle, it don't even have to be a punch. You look at somebody like Hitman Holler. <laughs> I don't know how he knows that some of that regular shit is going to hit, but it hits. For <laughs> You feel me? Like yeah. When he says something and like he says it with 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 emphasis and it's something true or whatever, it hits. Mm-hmm. And the new, right. I don't think the new generation get that. They're doing text battling. That's mm-hmm. really what they're doing on paper. That shit is beautiful. That you could go. Oh, it's, it's so complicated. It's so, you know what I mean? But as far as the crowd, how can you enjoy that? Okay. Three rounds of the same shit. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm not well, uh, just like everybody else, but when when this shit is 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 uh, it's got to be explained and you got to point out words and uh, I, don't <laughs> I don't know about that shit. You feel know I me? Mean? Yeah. I don't think that that's what draws the crowd. Okay. And that, that might play a part in why there's a lot there's not too many new dudes that's really rising to the ranks of top tier. Mhm. No, I agree. Like I like I said, I, <clears throat> doing research and hearing like I, I I heard clips I saw a video clips did and clips was trying to I think what it is is a lot of the new cats too, like they feel a certain way because, you know, like I guess a whole bunch of top tier battlers or not a whole bunch, but a couple of top tiers may have turned them down or not wanting to take them down. And they're just like, yo, we don't even need y'all and all this other shit. But, I mean, it is what it is. Like, you want to get your craft right before you take that big piece of the pie. Um, mm-hmm. But this is Body Count Radio. We got Mav Hoffa, surprise guest on the show, really just talking to y'all new cats about your, your stage performance and everything. If you guys want to call in, that number is 646-200-3462. Make sure you press that one button if you want to talk. And real quick, I just wanted to talk about this card a little bit, the Lift Your Soul, Lift Your Soul card that shout out mm-hmm. to ARP. I'm going to be co-hosting with ARP. Um, and what I, this is one of the battles that I wanted to talk about um, because it's a controversial battle. And I've got different e- – mixed emotions from this battle. Every time I talk to somebody, I'm like, yo, what do you think about this battle? Some people are like, yo, this is going to be crazy. Yo, this is going to be bullshit. 
You know what I'm saying? What do you think about Suge versus Raw? That's a battle I want to see. Because mm, I know okay. there's history there. You know what I mean? Right. It means more than the average battle. Okay. Because there's history there. That's like, um, I wouldn't say in the same level of skill, but um, Aver versus Hitman Holla or, or um, what would be another grudge match? Uh, mm. uh, Shotgun Shug versus Bill Collect. You know what I mean? Like it, it, mm-hmm. it, it's something you want to see because you know there's history here. You want to see what, like, what, what are they going to talk about? How are they going to come at each other? This is something, you know, it's fueled by more than just wanting to be a better rap. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So I, I definitely want to see that battle. That's a battle that, that that's been in the making for a couple of years now. Yeah. It's history here. So yeah, that's going to be a tough. So who you, who you got out of that one? Out of that one, I can't quote yeah. it. I can't quote okay. it. I think Rosenberg has his moments. You know what I mean? There was okay. times I'd be like, Rosenberg, oh, he's probably going to get smoked or whatever. Uh, uh. But when he battled Big K, he impressed me. He showed yeah, me that he could yeah. use the power. And the power mm-hmm. is personal crowd. You connect with them on something that's not It's not lyrics. It's not, oh, it's a scheme or similes or nothing like that. It's just how do you feel about this? I mm-hmm. feel like this. Do y'all feel the same way? You right. know what I mean? That's when you yeah. that's using your power right there. That's crowd control. Okay. I, I dug that. He he impressed me with that one moment. I was like, okay, he it, it's possible that he could do this type of thing. Cool. Okay. Now he's going against Shotgun Shook. I'm sure he's gonna have a lot to say. Word. You know so, what I mean? So here my here my question. This is my question. I'm gonna put you on the spot. Do you think out of that whole battle, uh, it's going to be three rounds, there's going to be a choke in the battle? Um, when is the – Sugar's on that card for Rex and Surf, right? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go – I'm going to say no. Mm. I'm going to say no. Okay. And the reason I'm going to say no is I think they both know how important that battle is personally, Mm -hmm. and they're going to be prepared for it. Probably been writing for it from years before. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So, nah, I'm I'm, I'm not going to put that on them. I'm going to expect expect a classic out of that situation. Which is kind of strange okay. to say, you know, classic with shotgun shooting and rolling with rolling. But, yeah, but because of history did, yes, I'm going to say that. You know what I mean? And that's not trying to shit on nobody's talent or nothing like that, but it's just acknowledging the statue. You know what I mean? Word. But, All right, I got two more questions for you, then I'm going to let you go. <laughs> All right. All right. I ain't going to ask you about the Mad Papa versus Old Red because I'm sure you gonna, you you gonna your opinion is you're going to kill Old Red. I would expect nothing less. Mm-hmm. But but what about Big Cannon versus Big K? Because to me, that's it, it's gonna be kind of weird for me because, like I said, Big K be talking that that shit. Big exactly. Cannon be talking that sh- yeah. Big Cannon be talking that shit, but it, it's not on the same level like Big K talks it. But Big Cannon can he can rap like he can he can he can go in. So I don't, like, I, I don't know which way to lean toward. Big what Cannon, in my opinion, is a, he's, a, he's kind of like, he has a, a kind of like preacher man style, mm-hmm. but he can't sell it the way that Big K can sell it. And Big K can right. sell it because it's mm-hmm. more authentic. You know what I mean? Right. It's more right. authentic. And I'm always going to lean toward, you, 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 if you look back at, um, when I did the Killers Battle League with Vlad, everybody mm-hmm. on that card had a street edge to them. Right. You know what I mean? And Big K was definitely mm-hmm. on that card. So um, Big K, I feel like he should take that as long as he's prepared because it's about, you know, this, this particular battle, I think it's about how well you can sell it because they both got bars. You know what I mean? Big K has bars. 
he he, mm-hmm. he goes in. He kind of does the same shit too, but he goes in and he has his own style and he can he has crowd control. But when it comes mm-hmm. to selling that this is what's gonna happen or da 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 or I think Big K definitely has him beat. Right. As far as far as how people feel about him. Because mm-hmm. there's a perception. And the people don't like to talk about this, but there is a perception amongst battle rappers. You can kind of right. sniff and tell who's really been doing what. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there, there's, there's books that sell a lot, like Harry Potter, and, and then, then there's books that are like autobiographies that sell a lot. You know what I mean? And I think when it comes to battle rap, the autobiography wins. Okay. Looking at Big T and Big K, I felt like that shouldn't have been close. Mm-hmm. But I think Big T was a little, you know, he wasn't he wasn't a hundred percent that day. But I don't think that Big K is going to make that same mistake. Or, okay. So, so here's my last question because I've been hearing. <clears throat> I've been hearing this going around a lot. What What is your opinion about contracts in rap battles? I mean, rap the the battle rap environment now. Contracts, people. You mean yeah, ex- like people exclusive, sign exclusive yeah. contracts where you only right. battle for this league. Mm-hmm. Like, do, well, what do you think as far as the battle league is concerned, and what do you think about as far as the battle rappers are concerned? I think if you're going to sign something like that, make sure you're taken care of. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, there, there's no victims with a contract. Right. They're the same. Where there's choice, there are no victims. So if you choose to sign it, you're not a victim. You just got to make sure you're getting what you want want out of it. And if you sign a contract, right. here's the problem with that. Let's say you have an off night, your first mm-hmm. battle. And you get, you know, you get 3 old or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Are you getting booked for the next event? Or are you yeah. getting booked for the event after that? Or are you going to sit down for a little while? You might be ready hmm. to jump back in the next day. But because of, you know, you, you might have had a, a bad performance or somebody just outclassed you, mm-hmm. what's going to happen? Because now you can't go to another league and get your pride back. you got to wait until they feel comfortable with putting you right. back on that stage. Right. And how long is that going to be? Are you going to be on every card? If you're on the next card, how much you, how much are you getting paid? Mm-hmm. See, if you sign a contract like that, you got to think like, okay, this, then this is my career. You guys are handling my career at this point. Mm-hmm. So what's the guarantee? Right. But that's what I'm saying. Is it smart to do a contract? Because I'm like, let, okay, let's say, oh, I am. I would say, I, well, I, you being top tier. It's not smart for you to do a contract because you got other oh, leads. Nah. I mean, like, it, it would be smart yeah. if it's worth it. Now, if the okay. contract says, okay, I got you for five battles. So upon signing this contract, I'm going to give you your deposit for five battles. Okay. And that's something different. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, you're like, okay, yeah. all right. I got time to sit down and do nothing but rap. That's good. Mm-hmm. And I'm locked in. And they're not going to pay me for these battles and then not book them. Right. So that would be my only confidence in that situation. Okay, mm-hmm. you're locking me in for five battles. I want to see a schedule, and I want I want my upfront money for all five of them right now. Or Otherwise, how does it make sense? Yeah. You might go to an event, and the mics is fucked up. And you mm-hmm. had to, you know, hold a mic or whatever, or, or shit just didn't go right. Then you got to wait to get back up on that stage, and you can't go no place else. Right. Or there might be a match that's perfect for you. 
but they don't want to book it because that person didn't sign the contract. You, if you're going to eliminate, eliminate your options, there's got to be a plus to it. True. But but how you school the new guys on that? Because you got you, the new guys. I don't like, know, bro. I I try. I, you know, I have personal conversations with people, and I give them advice. I feel like, right. I'm, yo, look, the ideas that I, I have in my mind, like, billion dollars sitting in my head. Like, I'm, I'm always able to analyze somebody's situation and mm-hmm. give them good advice for it. Always. Like, that's right. always been a talent of mine. I don't know what, what it is. You know what I mean? But right. when I when I give advice or I speak upon something and somebody's like, yo, you know, worry about yourself over the Internet, because I'd probably never get that in person. But when somebody <laughs> does something like that and they're kind of leaning towards, you know, oh, you know, I'm think i thankful for the lead for this and that, they're like, okay, you sucking dick. <laughs> You're going to get raped. <laughs> she come to my crib. She give me some head. You know what's happening next? She's going to get fucked. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. And that's what a lot, that's what I feel like some of these niggas are doing. They suck in the Battle League's dick, and then they're like, oh, you suck in my dick? Oh, all right, turn around, nigga. Back shot, shot. <laughs> oh, man. No, nah, that's real shit. It's no, real I, shit. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, some of these cats, like, I mean, the reason why I was saying that, like, I get it. Like, I, like let's say... URL has a like they want you to sign a contract, a five battle contract. Like I get it because it's URL. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get, you know, a hundred thousand plus views on YouTube. You're gonna get paid. I get all that. But I mean, let's say you're one of the hottest battle rappers out right now. Let's say you're Danny Myers, and URL is like, yo, we're gonna sign you an exclusive five battle deal. You know, you can't battle with anybody else, um, and you're going to battle for us for the next five cards. That wouldn't make sense, but I'm just like, if you got king of the dollar, like, yo, we want to book you for how much you paying. Oh, quote, unquote, I guess, let's say double, not double, yeah, double what URL is going to pay for that battle. Now you just lost out on a bigger payday because you're exclusively in a contract. I, I mean, if you look mm. at the run I'm about to do, June 28th, right. I got Disaster. The weekend right. after that, I got Old Red. The weekend after that, Manslaughter. The weekend after that, LA Battlegrounds. Mm-hmm. So that's a nice little run for them. <laughs> I get through this month, right. I, I kill these niggas, I'm good. My feet up. Chill. Right. But I don't think the new guys are getting paid the type of, you know what I'm saying, to be able to chill like that. So when right. you sign an exclusive, uh, an exclusive agreement, then battle rap's not your career. You're going to need a side job. Right. That, so that, and I think I think they just need to be smart, man. Whoever's giving those contracts out, like, if you are offered a contract, then it's because they want you. Mm-hmm. If you don't sign it and you keep grinding, kill somebody on another league, and that shit viral, they're still going to want you. Mm-hmm. So you got to consider what you're doing. Or, yo. For some people, it might work out. They might be like, yo, I want to be the face of this league. I want to do this there. It might work out for them. But just make mm-hmm. sure you know what you when you walk in that situation. Do okay. some research on who on the contract like that. How did it work out for them? Or, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. See, my allegiance, I fuck with the battle leagues, but my allegiance mm-hmm. is always going to be to the battle rappers. Or, because I'm one of them. Right. I feel like we all should be in it together, but, you know, it's different. If, Don, if Donald Sterling had said what he said, and, you know, the players didn't feel no way about it, and you was the one, one person on that squad, like, you'd be stuck. Yeah. Now, yeah. when 
people react and they like, yo, we want him out of there, I think that's more of everybody working together. So when a battle league, if somebody's in, you know, like, <clears throat> what example can I give? Um, let's say there's a league that's really unprofessional. They don't pay on time. They don't start on time. They don't whatever. whatever. They're jerking people. They're not giving people all their money. Mm-hmm. It's a problem with something like that. I might go to that league. They might fuck around with my paper, and I'll put the word out. Yo, don't fuck with these guys. Yeah. The problem with, with, with battle rap is battle rappers should stick together in a situation like that. When another battle rapper gets booked after he hears, yo, don't fuck with these guys because this, that, and the third, and they think, oh, it's not going to happen to me, and it happens to them, then what? Yeah. Uh, See, I think that we all stuck together and just respected each other. Like, look, man, we trying to push it because we're trying to make it a better situation for us. It's always going to be a good situation for the league. Always. Mm-hmm. Let's just make sure that we're taking care of it. We try to push this thing to the next level. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's not be battling for money in a pot because that is kind of demeaning and it puts battle rap at a lower level. We got to a higher level than that. We've passed that level. That's fight club. Right. Yo, you make this right your rounds and you come through and then whoever wins, they get this. Nah, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Yeah, You're not gonna see them top tier niggas on that type of shit. Cause it's like, nah, right. I know what it's worth. I know my worth. Right. Well, I don't know. I just think that everybody out there, if you you a battle rap, you you a battle rapper, and you know you want to come up, consider your situation, man. Because it's not gonna be like another year of this shit, and it's not a career. Mm-hmm. It's growing. You got. Joe Button's jumping into this shit. You think he's going to be the last one? Nah. Yeah. There's going to be more. And the more attention yeah. and the more that it generates, it's going to become something bigger. And you want to make sure that you're in a position where you can maximize what you get out of it. All right. Well, it's only so long yeah. that something you love can become a burden if it's not supporting you. That's definitely true. You know what I mean? Man, you got a chick. Yeah. You love her. The pussy is good and all that shit. But she sit up in the house all day and don't do nothing. You just start hating that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> she don't wash the dish. She don't cook. She don't do nothing. You're going to start hating her. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you don't want your love for battle rap to turn into that. So, you know, make the proper steps. <laughs> Stick together. Sure. Yo, y'all getting advice from the veteran, Mad Papa. This, well, this was Body Count Radio. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's crazy. Yo, I got to I gotta uh, shoot you over my um <laughs> my number, too, because. When I come, I'm, I'm probably, like, that week I'm coming out, I already told ARP, like, I'm coming down there for, like, damn, the whole week. So I can just kick it and, and politic with y'all and shit like that. So, uh, uh, yeah, let's yeah. do that. Yeah, because um, I just came. Yo, I saw your boy last uh, Saturday night, Swave. I was telling Bunny, I was like, yo, this nigga Swave is back. Like, and, mm. like, he, it was funny that you was talking about, wow, all these new niggas sound the because Swave, and I don't want to put too much out there, but Swave pretty much touched on it in the battle. And I'm like, them niggas, like, it, it's crazy how, like, all these dudes sound the same, but at the same time, it's like, you got the vets that can come in, still with they same, same style, they don't switch it up or nothing, and the crowd still fuck with them like that. So, yo, shout out to Swave. Shout out to uh, Easy to Block, Captain. That was a dope battle. So, uh, already. Yeah. That's the yeah, only so. July 5th, people, Rabbery Entertainment, come through. I'll be there. The man on the line right now will be there. Mad Papa headlining the card. Mad Papa versus O-Red. Then, right before that, 
he got a battle disaster. So if you're going to be in the Cali area, make sure you stay Come out. home for that. Come out. <laughs> Come out. Yeah. You you go, like like Mav says, the last of a dying breed, you don't get the same type of battles like this no more. You get the, I'm in your window with the window pane. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 you better y'all, <laughs> Y'all gotta come through, man. Like, <laughs> come through, support this, these classic cars. Then you know what I'm saying. Like I, like I said, no holes barred. Make sure y'all stay tuned in for that. Uh, that's going down. Oh shit! And known for if you're gonna be out there, go check out oh, known yeah. for. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be some crazy battles going on. But There's other gonna be that, a lot of crazy battles. <laughs> yeah. Who, who you got battle of the night? Don't don't say Clips versus Tay Rock, because that might be a possible three zero in my opinion. On which side? <laughs> on 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 known four. Like besides yeah, but Clips, I'm saying, who, you, who do you think is on three zero? Who? Clips. I I you think like Clips Tay, is on three zero Tay Rock. I I'm not like yeah three zero. I ain't saying body. Three zero. Okay, I think, I, no, I'm running yeah. with you, brother. You ain't got yeah. you ain't got to backtrack on that one. I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I feel like yeah. J Rock. Yeah, J Rock has gotten crazy. He's gotten yeah. crazy. But there's still some elements to the game that I think that Charlie Clips has that he don't have. You know right. what I mean? Mm. So, I mean, I, I, I expect it to be a classic, but I feel like Clips is is really gonna go in on him, like. Right. Right. I really so you, who you got? So other than that, um, I'm, I want to see the goods in Averb because I feel like this yeah. is going to be Averb's first time getting love in New York. And uh, <laughs> you know, me and Averb, we 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 chop it up every now and then. So you know, I want to see him. I, I don't. Goods is my man too. You know, mm-hmm. but I want it. I want to see it as a fair battle. I don't want it to be any right. biasness or anything like that. I want it to be a fair battle because it's the type of battle that I've wanted to see for a long time. Other right. than that, um, who else is on that motherfucker? You got Ill Will versus DNA. That one, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> yo, a lot of people really say understand. that. A lot of people like, yo, I don't understand that battle. And the only thing I can look at is like, yo, they both can freestyle. So, like, DNA might be able, like, it will might say some crazy shit. DNA might be able to flip it or some shit like that. Rebuttal it pretty well, but yeah, that that might be know. the sleeper of the night. That might be the yeah. sleeper of the night. You know what yeah. I mean? It depends um, on, on how they turn up for it. But as far as like styles and the matchup, I didn't really dig that one. I was like, eh, I don't know about this. Okay. Who you got out of Hustle and Gaddis? Hustle and Gaddis. I think that's yeah. going to be the house of hustle that day. Oh, man. That's definitely going to be the house of hustle. Okay. The house of hustle. I got she's going to come out there, and I feel like she's going to have that queen mentality. And Gaddis mm-hmm. is going to be her first time in front of a URL crowd, and you mm-hmm. know how a URL crowd gets it down. <laughs> so yeah. if she has a cold moment, that could be yeah. the, the game changer right there. Mm-hmm. So... We'll see. see, but I think I, Hustle is definitely feeling herself right now. Yeah, I got Gaddis two one. I think. You think so? Yeah, yeah. I think. I think. I, you want to know why? Because I think Gaddis is more polished right now. Like I think she knows this is like okay, this is my moment, and because she's been there before, like you know, she was on Grind Time. She did King of the Dot. Like I think she mm-hmm. should be. She should be ready. Like this should be it. Then she can she bro, can rebuttal bro, some shit. That does not prepare you for a URL moment. I guarantee <laughs> you, it does not. Look at disaster. Look at disaster on a URL stage. No, it's not working out. It's not working out. It's a totally oh. different experience. New Yorkers, the way we are, we don't buy bullshit. So if you were not, this, look, for one, at a URL event, I guarantee you there's about a 1,000 rappers in the audience. Mm. So you got to make these 1,000 rappers feel like you know some shit that they don't know or you could do some right. shit that they can't do. 
Correct. And that's what makes that, that, that type of crowd different because it's like, yo, if you're not on your highest level with this shit, where's going to get you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, the, I mean, but look, look, the look, is, you look kind of scared anyway. I've seen in New York before. Huh? But I said disaster looked kind of scared anyway at that at that car. Like he was, he looked. That's that's not the disaster I'm used to seeing in battle. Like he was smiling and he no, was like he, he was more. But happy. this is what I'm saying. It, he changed his style, thinking that he could adapt to it, and mm. ended up making himself look like a goof. I mean, the <laughs> motherfucker was riding camels on a stage, so riding llamas. <laughs> That's some goofy shit. <laughs> well, you know you A-Rab and you feel like to make make the crowd fuck with you, you got to act like you riding a llama? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I hope just don't get that type of desperation in herself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like disaster. That, that was a desperate move right there. Yeah. Like, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So. Yeah, that nigga hit his interview. That nigga gonna be hot. Come, uh, uh, what is it? This dude, real buddy? shit, my nigga. What I say? Yeah. No, no, I'm a rap. I come in riding that llama. <laughs> <laughs> You're a clown. You might as well just pull out a cake and just hit yourself in the face with it. Wow, cream pie. Wow, I'm a clown. <laughs> oh man, <Get> crazy. <laughs> Yo, uh, who the fuck got for? Uh, is that everybody? I say we say good. Oh, Big T, that's your boy, man. Big T, hey, you gotta talk to Big T, man. Like, yo, I, but you know what? I saw the Big T versus Big Cannon. I don't think it was like as lopsided as people were saying it was. Maybe that's just my opinion. It or whatever. Wasn't, but I feel like when T slipped up in that first round, it changed. Mm-hmm. Right. It changed the whole situation. Yeah. So I can agree as long with as he don't, there's no more slip-ups or nothing like that, like, he's good. He mm-hmm. has the power. I just want I want him to use that power again. Right. When he used it against big, when he used it against DNA, that's what, that was his yeah. shining moment. Like, oh, he has the power. Mm-hmm. He can touch the crowd. Okay. He was supposed to do that in Chicago, but that one slip-up. Mm-hmm. So, so we'll see what happens. Him versus B Magic? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. B Magic, I think, is dope. Super dope. Right. Yeah. Super dope. But by the time you get to the third round, it gets a little redundant. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Really... We'll see what happens. All right, we got two more. We got uh John John the Don versus Reed Dollars. Now this is that's an important battle because mm-hmm. you know back in the days it was New York and Philly. Right. New York and Philly. We had the right. spitters. New York had the niggas with style, swag and all that, the punch lines and city. Philly just had them niggas that just go off. Fifty bars mm-hmm. at any given moment. Mm-hmm. We used to clash a lot, like it was always a, a Philly or New York thing. You didn't hear too much about underground rappers from any other place as far as the Smack DVDs, the Spitters DVDs, and all that. It was New York and Philly. Now, Philly right. hasn't had somebody in this shit in a minute. Because mm-hmm. you can't count Uno Lagos. No. <laughs> He's not to be counted. That's another cream pie in the face ass nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> So okay. if Reed could get up on that stage and solidify a spot for Philly, oh, it's, it's going to open up the floodgates. It's going to open right. up the floodgates. But he has to be prepared for it. If he's coming with the same style of battling that he had before, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Right. Being long-winded is not going to work. Right. We already got a hit man yeah. holler. You know what I mean? <laughs> as far as, like, right. Saying things with emphasis and feeling. If you can't top Hitman and what he does, then it's not going to be a good look for Reed. But if Reed right. is able to adapt, crowd fucks with him, mm-hmm. then it's going to be a real good look for Philadelphia. But as it stands, you know, I battled John John before. I know he has bars. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I mean, I have to kind of figure out 
whether the bars was his after the battle, but he <laughs> has bars. So, so when he battles Reed, I know he's going to come with the punchline because he, he's watching Reed's footage right now. He's watching it. He's mm-hmm. looking at it. He's like, yo, this motherfucker has no punches. I'm going to make yeah. the crowd go crazy every four to eight bars. Okay. What is he going to be doing? Mm-hmm. They might be excited the first round. Second round, it might, you know, just tip off a little bit. But by the third, can you hang? Because you've been out this right. game for a minute. You're not used to this stage. You're not even used to niggas booing you. Mm. Or niggas being yeah. able to boo you. But, you're, but you acknowledge it. You know that that can happen. All this shit mm-hmm. plays a part in a motherfucker when he's preparing for a battle. Word. So hopefully yep. he's not someplace sparring with Rayman and e because that is not going to help him. <laughs> That's not yeah. going to help him. Yeah. And those Yo, two Ray. niggas are coaching him, it's over. <laughs> Philly might not get another shot for another 10 years. <laughs> Philly. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I hope he's on the phone, niggas who actually do this, <laughs> checking in on his work. <laughs> Yo. What? Rain, I got to tell you, though, Rain came with it against Tyler. Like, Rain, uh, he I bet you, is. <laughs> I bet you. I'll bet you when the footage drops, you're going to see a lot of that shit was bullshit. I'll bet <laughs> you. I mean, I'm not, I haven't seen it, not to put no yeah. doubt on them, but from, from the mm-hmm. reports that I was hearing, I know how Philly is. They want a nigga to, 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 to represent them so badly because of what yeah. they had back in the days. They're pretty out of the ranks right now. Oh. So, We'll see mm. what happens, man. I mean, I, I hope Reed does good, because then that introduces a whole lot of other niggas that we could go clean up on. Word. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Here's the last one. Cortez versus T-Rex. Ah, I think man. this might be one of the more anticipated <sighs> battles. Oh, <laughs> man. Now... All right, let's look at, like, like realistically, Cortez has been going off. Right. I don't think Cortez has taken a loss within the past 10 battles that he's had at all. Okay. At all. We could throw disasters. I mean, there there might have been some some dudes that you never heard of, but remember, disasters in that list. Kayshawn is Mm -hmm. in that list. Like, there's Mm -hmm. some top-tier niggas in that list. Yeah. And he's doing it calm and collectively. Mm-hmm. Like, there's nothing now. I think he's finally right. found found his niche. He's running with it to the point where people are running with his style. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. So, Rex, niggas love Rex. They love right. Rex. Mm-hmm. But Rex does say some bullshit sometimes. <laughs> he does say some bullshit and Disaster. he can have a cold moment. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So if Rex doesn't come into this battle prepared, especially with the history on it, if mm. he doesn't walk into this shit prepared to, 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 to have a war, he's going to get 3 0 mm. He's going to mm. get 3 Wow. As much as niggas might want or whoever or dot mob going crazy, the crowd is gonna be able to sniff out that bullshit. And if you in that if you in that crowd, if you're listening to the show right now, you in that crowd, sniff out the bullshit. Don't be fooled by a bunch of niggas going crazy behind some bullshit. Please. Word. Word. Pay attention to those bars. I know that Cortez is gonna come with it. This is a very important battle tip. And it should be yeah, a very got important battle too. with T Rex also. Huh? Yeah, they yeah. they got a lot of history. Mm-hmm. They got a lot of history. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's part of that whole dynasty. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> this, this this goes back. So, you know, I, I definitely want to see this battle. I'm gonna be in the building for this battle. Definitely. Word. Yeah. So so I'm giving I'm giving it to Cortez as of now. 
I think it's going to be a classic either way. Yeah, I'm I'm giving it to Cortez two one because I know they're not going to let uh, unless Cortez just got ridiculous shit that he's saying. I know they're not going. I know Rex Rex should be able to get get around it, but like I like I was saying earlier, I'm just like I man like with Rex, I'm just like I'm just kind of. I understand he a vet, no disrespect to him, and, you know, he a legend, but I'm just kind of tired. Like, I, I feel like I see the same shit over and over. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, that, the disaster, that's why I said the disaster about it, because, like, that was the worst shit. Like, I mean, I mean, really, um, on both yeah, ends, really, that I've seen. Yeah. Yeah, they stuck it up. They stuck it up. So, <laughs> so. so but but other than that, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm definitely we I'm definitely gonna uh, hit you up because I I actually like would like to get like a uh, a show before your event so we can do some heavy promo for it. And, um, oh, yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Yeah, like I said, so I'm gonna hit everybody out yeah. there. Come out, I got Disaster June 28th, July t- July 5th. I got Old Red. You know what I mean? I'll let y'all know the other dates. Um, for Danny right. Myers and the Man Slaughter battle, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a big summer. It's definitely gonna be you a right. big summer. Come out and be a part oh. of it, man. Because my intention is to do some shit that nobody's ever seen before, nobody's ever felt before. <laughs> but it's gonna be that that same familiar realness. You know who it is. It's hot. Word. 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 So so tell the people where they can follow you at, and we're gonna wrap the show up. I mean, at Matt Hoffalo on the Twitter, at Hoffaluya on Instagram, H-O-F-F-A-L-U-Y-A-H. Word. That's it. Or hit me on the site, yeah. Hoffaluya.com, H-O-F-F-A-L-U-Y-A-H.com. Bang, bang. Word. Word. Y'all know y'all can follow me at, boom, hit me up on Twitter, VPDZ. If you want to hit me up on Instagram, Mr. DZ601, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, all the listeners that we had tonight, you know, and also shout out to, like I said, World Battle League event. It was a dope event. Uh, And y'all catch me. Y'all going to catch me in New York June 28th. You're going to catch me in New York uh, July 5th hosting this event with Hoffa versus O-Red, the main card, Lift His Soul event. So y'all make sure y'all stay up. Uh, like I said, I'm giving away free tickets. So this one, this, I'm gonna give away a free ticket. So uh, or tickets. So whoever listened to this show tonight and hit hop up and like yo dope interview on Body Count Radio or Official Coach Radio, or whatever y'all do, whoever hits him up first and I see the retweet, like I'm pretty sure you're gonna retweet it. Uh, you're getting a free ticket to uh, Lift His Soul event. So that's bang, what's bang, up. bang, bang. That's what's up. Yeah. Easy. Yo, so. Been a pleasure. Word. Been a pleasure. Been an honor, man. You already. You already. Uh, I'll be back on the show. Don't worry about it. Word. Yo, you got to send me some music, too, man, because I got to add some, like, some more Hoffa shit, uh, music to the switchboard. Like, oh, I get yeah, I three you. requests. I, I get three requests. I get Hoffa. I get Shug. Uh, and, and who the other motherfucker? Hoffa Shug. Man, I can't even think of the uh, last person that, was, that, that that I get requests from. But it's definitely how you should and it's somebody else that I can't even think of right now. So, um, yeah, when you get some new shit or whatever, we'll debut it on here. Like I, like I tell all the artists that come through, it counts towards radio airtime. So, boom. All right, cool. All right. I got you. Got you. Since I hope. All right, all right, uh, y'all. I'm gonna end the show. Math off of Park Juice. You know what I'm saying. Make sure y'all stay tuned in to next week. You never know what what the fuck we gonna have, we gonna have going on. And uh, we out. Yeah. And he. Judge me.
The motherfuckers ain't real. real. What the fuck are you doing? doing? Who the fuck are you booing? These other niggas ain't riding. riding. I'm a nigga that's shooting. shooting. I ain't trying to be bad. I ain't trying to seem tough. I ain't trying to be gangster. gangster. Just trying to be real. Expecting you to say thank you. Thank you. For sharing that pain. Self hatred had me hearing that thing. A lot of niggas died over money and the pride. And you see me good now. I'm aware of that game. Yeah. But shit done changed. Change. You little niggas like fake shit. Fake. Blue mix like broads On call to keep you caught up in the matrix They ain't got no heart Read your cards right off of your faces Behind them tattoo tears Still picking up on that gay shit Play hot for you, wow Why the fuck do you say shit? Just trying to kill what I love You don't make me feel hatred Man, I'm on that pop juice I'm moving with that pop juice Moving with that pop juice Everything's said these things go way in. way in Well, why they look so clean? clean. Where them niggas done dirt that? Dirt that. Niggas look like fiends. fiends What the fuck are they saying? Damn. What the fuck do they mean? mean. Never live for betraying Damn. What the fuck have they seen? Damn. Everybody start local, go global And no longer knows you What the things that you go through But it's like I'm right there when you're hearing these vocals <sighs> Can I talk to my ladies? ladies? Can I talk to my bitches? bitches? I'm a thug but I love y'all Y'all hate like these niggas and these blood-sucking DJs For the play, I gotta say why do we pay And if a nigga ain't got it for your pocket Why you hating on me trying to get my mama out of PJs I'ma make it a die, die. She playing that game, game. Next time to lie. lie I hope you win that day Now ain't start no shit Cause I ain't saying no names But try to kill my dreams You gon' feel that pain Man, I'm on that pot juice I'm moving with that pot Moving with that pop juice, pop juice, pop juice. Man, I'm on that pop juice. I'm moving with that pop juice. Moving with that pop juice, pop juice, pop juice. Man, I'm on that pop juice. I'm moving with that pop juice. Moving with that pop. I'm just saying, I miss that real shit, man. Man, I'm on that pop juice. I'm moving with that 